Oh, sorry, I got cut off. Okay, so we are still on pending orders. So the beauty about uh, trading Forex is that you are able to do other things. You don't have to constantly be on the charts the whole day. You are able to do other things, able to do your side hustle, able to go and do your main job, able to do other businesses and other things at the same time, making money in Forex. So how do you go about that? The platform has got tools which help you to go into a trade without you manually going there. It will automatically go in the trade for you using pending orders. So you can analyze the market. All you have to do is analyze the market, see if it's going to go in a sell or if it's going to go in a buy. And according to that, you can put your pending orders, either stop orders or limit orders depending on how you have analyzed the market. So let's say, for example, we have analyzed that, okay, this is going to go in a trade. It's going to go in, it, it's going to continue going in a buy. So let's say maybe this is our area of interest. For example, if you think, okay, at this point, it will continue going into a buy. That's just an example. So you're going to go there. So you check the area. Okay, so that area is um ten five uh ten five nineteen. So you go on market execution, you do your buy stop and put your ten five nineteen as the price because this is the area, your area of interest. This is what you're looking at, and this is where you're expecting price to continue buying from okay so you're going to put your stop loss you need to calculate this okay and your take profit let's say our take profit is um no this wouldn't be the take profit let's put it at 10 5 okay let's say 20 yeah let's put it at 10 5 20 okay so and you place your Okay, so as you can see, this order is, uh, it hasn't been uh, activated yet. So you go there, we are waiting for price to get here. This is our area of interest and this is where we are saying it's going to continue buying from. And this is our area where we have set our stop loss and that's our area where we've put our take profit. So in short, what we are saying is, if this uh, gets triggered like right now it's about to be triggered okay just a few seconds so boom this uh, order has been activated and when we check there as you can see we are already making sense we are in profit with sense okay so it has been triggered according to our analysis this when it gets there it's supposed to take the profit. So the way take profit works is I go in a trade and I don't have to manually close it. I have set the take profit so that the system can automatically keep the profits for me. It, it literally means what it says, take profit. Like the system can literally take profit for me on my behalf instead of me closing the trade. And the stop loss here, it means that if this trade had to go wrong, because the candles are going up right now, it can just crash down. And I'm in a loss. So the way stop loss works is just like it literally says stop loss. Okay, so our order is still on at 25 cents. So you notice that the moment it reaches there, it will activate to take profit and boom, it will take us out of the trade. And we would have made profit. So we have 30 cents. It's going to stop soon. Okay. So this trade we have taken profit. And there you go. That's our 32 cents here. This is our 32 cents. So this is practically very easy. You're able to trade without you watching, constantly watching the markets. The same thing with the stop loss. If this thing went against us, it stop loss means literally what it means it will stop the loss meaning you can calculate the amount of um, money you would want to lose or you would be risking to lose i would say 
So when you leave your trades running, you don't have to worry about finding your whole account wiped out. When you set your, uh, your stop loss, it would it it will be you who will be determining if you want just to risk 20 percent uh, sorry if you want to risk let's say one percent or two percent of your money you can set it so that if it in case it goes wrong only two percent of your equity will be affected so you don't have to lose everything let's say if you've got maybe a hundred dollars if you've got a hundred dollars and you say I only want to lose two percent, that is all I'm risking. You can put your stop loss at two percent, like we were setting it, where you know I'm only going to lose two dollars on this trade. The moment it gets to two dollars, it should cut me out. The beauty of putting the a stop loss, because if you don't put a stop loss, you may find that if the trade goes against you, you find the whole hundred dollars gone. But if you put a stop loss, you will only lose that amount which you have set to lose. The same as if you take if you put a take profit. If you put if you don't put a take profit, price can go in your direction. You make a lot of money, even millions and millions of money. But as long as you did not set a take profit, the moment the price will start going against you. You are going to lose out all the profits you've made and maybe even go into loss. So when you're not looking at the charts constantly, take profit and stop loss is going to help you. Even when you're looking at your charts constantly, make it, make it a culture, make it part of you to be looking at your charts constantly so that I mean, sorry, to, to be putting take profit and stop loss so that you get accustomed to this. So um, I think today's lesson, we are done unless there are questions.